Welcome to MMO Grinder Side Quest, where I take a look at early open or closed betas, subscription trials, and simpler titles, giving you a quick first impression. Today I'll be looking at Twin Saga, the next entry in X Legend series of super kawaii games that's once again published in the US by area, currently in a closed beta and looking to launch an open beta within a short while. These blurbs about the next categories of graphics and music are going to be woefully short, as if you're familiar with X Legend, it's checking off all its marks. Chibi styled anime characters, bright popping colors, crisp looking worlds, strange whimsical enemies, and weird interface quirks that still provide a polished if not entirely samey looking experience. Fitting in with their staples is the soundtrack, which is almost always a peppy high fantasy orchestration, and sound work consists of high pitched squeaks combined with solid impacts, dependent entirely on your class. Voice acting in the game is also done entirely in Japanese, though an English voice option is selectable, but only seems to function on system sounds. I'm not sure if they plan to implement everything with full English voice acting, but Weeb should be just fine with the Moe girls yelling Gomen no Sai without it. X Legend is pretty much on the hook for essentially remaking the same game every one to two years, and Twin Saga, known as Astral Realm in Taiwan, is hardly the exception. This time we have a game that takes a ton of pages from Aura Kingdom, in the freedom of movement combat that's still very much a tab target system, to the hub based questing with emphasis on a linear story. Along with including Aura Kingdom's conversation system and side quest system that requires a bit more exploration and puzzle solving to finish. One very odd choice, which at the moment seems more on the side of the translation team rather than the developers, is the very wordy and almost purple prose level of writing within the quest dialogue, including some very suggestive situations and choices. There have been times where I was clicking through some dialogue and paused immediately thinking, there's no way I read that right, then came back to notice lines like, inflict a whooping most unholy upon their self-righteous posteriors, and he is rewarded with a primo view of your crotch. Someone at the team must have busted out of the Saurus and really missed Scarlet Blade. Adding in something from another X legend title is the long-missed feature from Eden Eternal, in which you can switch your classes on the fly with no real penalty to your character's abilities in combat, allowing you to try out many approaches to combat, despite most of it being pretty easy at the moment. Specific classes are unlocked via story quests instead of the level requirement system of Eden Eternal, and customization takes a World of Warcrafty and talent tree approach to customize each specific class, which will thankfully allow you to readjust your points as often as you want under level 40, so no worries if you think you're heading down the wrong skill path. While community in a closed beta is never reflective of the game's launch and first month of play, there's plenty who seem to be playing right now, and maxing out the high levels pretty quickly, running around in party groups and yelling in trade chat to trade items. One thankfully wonderful inclusion missing from most MMOs is the ability to gain quest credit from monsters that you fight regardless of who hit them first, last, or did the most damage. Any damage on your target will nab you credit for that target upon defeat, so as long as you got a hit in, you don't have to worry about other players stealing credit even if they oddly seem to afford you that courtesy anyway. While I delved in just long enough to get a few hours into the game, I felt a lot of the same X-Legend notes being played here, but they were all the notes that I liked. I haven't really been disappointed with an X-Legend game until Dragomon Hunter, but I get the feeling that the game was more of an odd man out rather than a dip in the developer's overall quality. Still, there's plenty of people who are basically done with X-Legend's shtick, but I found myself enjoying the game enough to want to keep going even if I did stop short as to not burn myself out for a full review. Then again, I originally felt the exact same way about Dragomon Hunter. This has been an MMO Grinder side quest, and it's time I logged out.